Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative, speaking to Ricky, Julian, and Bubbles, also known as the Trailer Park Boys. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. Thank you. Hey, Thank great you. to be here. I mean, you know. It, it's it's pretty crazy. I do want to start with Ricky. I mean, you know, the trailer park boys, everyone seems to be interested in what's going on with your everyday lives in Sunnyvale. Why do you think people care so much about what's going on? Because I think they look at us and they're like, man, these guys are awesome and they don't really need much to be happy. And they like to tell people to piss them off to go fuck themselves. And I think they respect that. Julian, when did you know that people like when did it start sinking in that wow like people really care about what we're doing and now shout factory tv is going to be airing all the episodes like when do you kind of realize wow we're pretty famous when uh you know when we go to some pubs or some bars and stuff and people start buying us free drinks i mean free liquor man it's yeah. been happening now for what 20 some years yeah free, free weed yeah i mean that's all fine and dandy boys but i mean jesus there's more to life than free liquor and free dope. It's it weird when you're walking down the street and someone's like, hey, two smokes. <laughs> yeah. And it's all over the world. Like, it's, Yeah, I never would have thought. It's bizarre. Plus the perks in jail it's now. It's really cool, I mean, but we, it's weird. We get a lot of perks in jail, which is great if we end up in jail. Well, I mean, if you want to talk about perks, somebody just walked in and just gave us, look, for no reason, a whole bowl of candy. I don't even know who that person was. Did you get did the for the you know for the Donair Turkey Day feast? Was that all donated to you, or did you guys have to go get all that stuff? Oh, we actually had to get that. I mean, we didn't pay for a lot of it. We had okay. to get it, acquire it. Because that's coming out. Like people are gonna be able to see that on the tenth. I mean, people care about that feast. Like people want to see that, right? It's pretty yeah. crazy, right? It's gonna be a feast of craziness for sure. And for people that have never seen a Donair Turkey get made, it's gonna be very fascinating. I think. I agree. Absolutely. Bubbles, I do have a question for you, and I'm counting pro wrestling as sports. What is your favorite Sunnyvale Trailer Park Boys sports moment, if you could pick one? Favorite sports moment in Sunnyvale? There's been a lot. There's been a lot. I mean, green bastard. the green bastard in the ring, I mean, that was pretty, that was a pretty legendary bout. A couple nice clotheslines. I just racked shop on Corey and Trevor. So, I mean, that was pretty awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Julian, you're going to help me over here because, you know, I don't want a shouting match happening between Ricky and Bubbles, but I need to know this. Right. I'm here to back you up here. Okay. All right. Thank you. Is Ricky's animosity and hatred towards Conky an overreaction? Set the, set the line straight right now. Oh my. I, well, I know. You... I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I had to bring it up. I, I apologize, Ricky. I know this is a soft spot. See, if, if you really think about it, it's just a it's just a fucking puppet, right? So, yeah, but no, not to bubbles. Is, not to is bubbles. It, it is. Well, it's is to me. So, Rick, you just gotta settle down, man. It turns bubbles into a crazy person. Yeah, but it right? also turns you into a goddamn nightmare. So <laughs> you gotta relax. He's a mean fucking puppet. Well, mean things do get said, I but some of them are true, man. He's not a mean puppet. I he mean, just says what he wants to say, and he doesn't worry about things. I know, Ricky. I appreciate because I know that that's a that that's a topic that gets your blood boiling. So I appreciate you. I'm trying to stay calm. Man. <laughs> the only time Conky shows up is when you're being an asshole. Basically, that is true. I just why do you think that's a coincidence? No. <sighs> he doesn't think make things better, I can tell you that. Well, he's gone, so we don't gotta worry about it. Good. Okay. I am sorry, guys. I shouldn't have brought it up, but I I really had to bring it up and I apologize. But <laughs> see that now you're starting shit. Yeah, now he's getting what? Crazy. now you're making some noises you shouldn't. I was <laughs> clearing my throat. Mm, whatever. <laughs> When you're told that people are interested in a lot of the holiday festivities, what is kind of the mindset, Ricky, with the fact that you kind of are like forced to kind of show a lot of your traditions, whether it's Christmas time or Halloween or Thanksgiving? I mean, is there a lot of pressure because people want to know how you guys celebrate in Sunnyvale? There is a lot of pressure. I mean, 
if there was no cameras and stuff for the stone air feast, it would probably be, it would go ahead perfectly. Mm-hmm. But there's more pressure with cameras and, you know, you want everything to be just right so people can learn how to make a don't air turkey and make all these delicious side dishes. So I, I don't know. It's either going to go really good or really bad. Absolutely. It's if the cameras are giving you pressure, Ricky. You just basically do what you want anyway. I know, but I'm, you don't even realize it makes you're there. Me a nerves. <laughs> don't you? No, you don't. I, I, yeah, I mean, it's just you're just living your lives. I mean, Bubbles, I think you're just living your life, and just there's cameras there. I don't think you change because there's a camera there, right, Bubbles? What we see is Bubbles. Yeah, I mean, you know, you might change a couple things, you know, just like you know your maybe your bathroom routine. I try not to, you know, take a giant piss when the cameras are on me or whatever. But sometimes I have. Yeah. <laughs> No, um, oh, you gotta go. I, I yeah, I want to ask you all this. Um, we'll start with Julian. There have been some pretty cool people that have dropped by Sunnyvale over the years. Um, yeah. celebrities, athletes, people that you know Ricky despises. Um, who are some that kind of stand out? Some of your favorite kind of guests to Sunnyvale. Oh man, I mean Snoop Dogg was one for sure, man. It was great. We were actually business partners for a little while there. Yeah, we still owe him some money. He hasn't asked for it, so that's pretty cool. Um, Ron, Ron Arnold, Tom, Tom Arnold. Arnold. Oh, was it Tom? Yeah, he was a good dude. Well, really good for, fella. Except for he wanted Lucy. Well, yeah, he, I think he did bang. Got Lucy, Lucy actually, I mean, yeah. he did. Um, and then Alex Lifeson, that was awesome, man. Yeah, but like Ricky, like I mean, he, I don't think he showed up to Sunny. Like, like Ricky, just Brittany, you kidnapped Alex Lifeson. You kidnapped one of the greatest guitarists of all time. I wouldn't use the word kidnap. It was more like a, a borrow. Bubbles, what do you think about? What did you think about that whole situation? Because Rush is like your favorite band of all time. Yes, and I mean, I obviously very excited to have Alex in the park, but not, you know. Not under the circumstances that Ricky created. Ricky, you meant well, though. Ricky, you meant well. I did that for you, Bubs. I know you did, Ricky. It was just a bit much. You kidnapped the man. I mean, we're good friends now, so it worked out well. Mm-hmm. In hindsight, it's probably great that Ricky did kidnap him. Believe it or not, he's not a dick. I, I was sure he w- would be. You know, he's a fancy rock star with all that money and stuff. But he was actually... No, he's very he's nice. nice and normal. Very nice fella. What advice would you have you could anyone could take this because there's like on shout factory tv they're going to be able to see a lot of trailer park boys content um i feel like if you binge it there's a lot kind of happening and you're going to get kind of exhausted should they pace themselves and kind of do a couple episodes every week on shout factory tv or do you um, want them to just watch it all and binge it on like right. a saturday yeah, or sunday get right into it and if you don't feel like shutting it off don't shut it off Keep going. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I do that all the time. It's called binge watching, Ricky. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> just binge it. Have a few drinks, I smoke binge, some joints, and watch party. the shit. I know you binge party. It's the same type of thing. So There's also going to be some SwearNet content as well. What can you tell us about what, like, what, what, do you know, you guys know about SwearNet? Yes, that's where, that's who shows all of our stuff, and Julian did some kind of a deal with them, and they have all of the Trailer Park Boys stuff on there that you can't see you know on netflix or whatever yeah fucky the drunk clown's got a liquor story show or something yeah lady's got a show on there randy we did a whole the cameras came when these guys were in jail and did a whole season where we're in jail and that's on swearing out a lot of people don't even haven't even seen that one yet so that's like another season have you guys had a chance to have a visit with the stanley cup yet has nathan mckinnon uh been in contact with you at all about that he, we talked to him, but we never got to go see the cup with him. We have held the cup with some other other people, but do you think maybe it's, it's like, because they think Julian's gonna just try to make a lot of drinks in it? Do you think well, no, I'd try to make money off it. I, you know, okay. he put behind a little rope fence or something to get people to touch or whatever. But I think they're afraid of you stealing the cup, Ricky, because you've talked about that. That would not go down well, man. I didn't want to steal. I just well, wanted to turn. You want to borrow it? A water bomb. Be the biggest water bomb. You're not going to drill a hole in the Stanley Cup. You see, and I think Bubbles really wanted to see the cup. So I think, Ricky, that's another thing, kind of like Alex Lifeson. I think you could have just not maybe stole it, just let Bubbles have the picture with the cup. Yeah, man. Well, he's probably going to win it again next year. So next year I will 
I won't do anything wrong, Bob's, I promise. Kev, has it hit you guys that there's been 10 seasons of Trailer Park Boys? It's pretty phenomenal. That's a lot of episodes, guys. There's been... No, it is a lot. It's crazy. There's been how many, though? There's been more than that. It's more than 10, isn't it? 12. 12. 12. Plus one in jail. Yeah. So it's almost like 13. Plus a bunch of movies, a bunch of... We went to... We did some out-of-the-park series things. Almost we did killed us. But the ten, sorry, stuff. the ten seasons are going to be available on Shell Factory TV. Yeah. I apologize. Oh, yeah. 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 Animation. Yeah. Animation, right? Animation, Animation, man. Anime. Animation. Animation. We don't have anime. You say cartoon. We don't have anime sex videos. <laughs> and the the great Canadian uh, donor turkey day is going to be available. Um, it's at 11 a.m. Pacific Eastern on the 10th, so they can check that out as well. It's coming. Yeah, it's, it's next week, different. which is yep. awesome. Anything else quickly you want to say before we wrap up, Pop Turnative, gentlemen? Well, on that show, on that day, on we're going to be here, sitting right at this table, just getting hammered all day. Food, so people should yeah, tune in and get go, drunk with us. Edibles. Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be excellent. Ricky, Julian, Bubbles, thank you so much for coming on Pop Turner to chat about the Trailer Park Boys. This was great chatting with you guys. Thank, thank you, you, bud. Thank Cheers, you. Brother. No problem. Well, this has been Pop Turner at YouTube.com slash Pop Turner for previous episodes. Till next time, this is Ricky, Julian, and Bubbles from Sunnyvale and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.